Larry Flint is a self-proclaimed champion of the First Amendment and pioneer pornographer. Though Flint is also notorious for his depictions of sexual abuse, he holds his ground on its depiction as satire of the sexualization of women in media. He was born Larry Claxton Flint Jr. in McGoffin County, Kentucky on November 1, 1942. The oldest of three children, born to Larry Claxton Flint, a sharecropper, and Edith Arnett Flint. After his sister Judy died of leukemia in 1951, the family shattered and his parents divorced. Larry lived with his mother while his brother Jimmy went on to live with a grandmother. At 15, Larry quit school at Sowersville High School and with a phony birth certificate joined the army. After his discharge, he bootlegged liquor and in 1960, he enlisted in the Navy and became a radar operator. Discharged in 1964, he bought a bar in Dayton, Ohio from his mother for 1800 and used the profits to buy two more bars, which he then used to buy his first Hustler Club, which was the first club to feature nude hostess dancers. In 1968, Flint stuffed photos of his dancers into an envelope and mailed them to his brother Jimmy, who was serving in Vietnam. He used the photos to promote the bar and figured his brother and his army buddies would appreciate them. Back home in Dayton, Larry was learning soldiers weren't the only ones eager to see images of his dancers, and after purchasing a tabloid called Bachelor's Beat in 1968, Flint turned it into a promotional vehicle for his dance club. Larry knew he was onto something. His target audience was always the blue-collar man, so he decided he was going to make content he felt would appeal to their fantasies more than publications like Playboy or Penthouse. By 1974, he was the owner of eight dance clubs in Ohio, and the publisher of a promotional newsletter called The Hustler, which would become the same Hustler that is still published today. Hustler found a hard time gaining its footing with the other popular porn magazines people were used to at the time. However, things were about to change for the better. Hustler gained international attention with the publication of nude photographs of Jacqueline Kennedy Onassis taken by paparazzo as she sunbathed on a beach. Larry bought the pictures for 18000 and quickly sold a million copies of the issue that featured them. Throughout his career, Larry faced numerous legal battles. However, 1976 was the first time Larry was prosecuted, the charges being obscenity and organized crime charges for selling obscene material in Cincinnati. Larry lost on both counts and was sentenced to 7 to 25 years, but he only served 6 days and the conviction was overturned on grounds of prosecutorial misconduct and judicial bias. On March 6, 1978, during a legal battle related to obscenity in Gwinnett County, Georgia, Flint and his local lawyer, Gene Reeves Jr., were returning to the Gwinnett County Courthouse when they were shot on the sidewalk. The sniper fired two shots, striking Mr. Flint in the stomach and lower spine, leaving him with paralyzed legs and in pain for the rest of his life. The sniper escaped undetected, but after being arrested and killings elsewhere, confessed to shooting Mr. Flint. The attacker, white supremacist Joseph Paul Franklin, said he objected to the interracial photos featured in Hustler. Franklin was eventually convicted and sentenced to six life sentences and two death penalties and was executed in Missouri in 2013, an act Mr. Flint opposed. His most famous was the milestone 1988 U.S. Supreme Court case, Hustler Magazine v. Falwell. After having been sued by Reverend Jerry Falwell in 1983 for an ad parry that had appeared in the publication, Falwell was the embodiment of what Flint stood against. He was a conservative Christian TV evangelist. He was always outspoken on the porn industry and how he felt it was corrupting our society. Falwell sued for libel, invasion of privacy, and intentional infliction of emotional distress, demanding $45 million in damages. In a unanimous 8-0 ruling penned by Chief Justice William Rehnquist, the court ruled the emotional distress inflicted by the ad did not warrant cause to deny Flint his First Amendment rights, sustaining the Sullivan rule and making the case a victory for journalists and First Amendment advocates, according to a February 1988 New York Times story. Since the Supreme Court case, Larry remained very successful and his brand continued to grow. In 1966, Columbia Pictures released the critically acclaimed film The People vs. Larry Flint with actor Woody Harrelson in the title role. However, Larry Flint passed away on February 10, 2021 in his L.A. home 
from heart failure, according to his brother. Larry Flint came a long way from his humble beginnings in the small East Kentucky County of McGoffin, owning a multi-million dollar porn empire and authoring several books and even having a feature film made after his many adventures in the industry.